Wouldn't you rather I was a horse, Miss Wesson? Pardon? real.
Wouldn't want to miss you.
<laughs> You're here. Sure am glad to see you folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a genuine crisis here. Martian. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Don't know what else they could be. They showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium, so they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Works harder than any man I ever saw, and ain't a fear to nothing. I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, oh, yeah. The Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. You could tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. Now, <clears throat> I bet you're <clears throat> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bob would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. But not the Martians. Oh, <clears throat> no sir. When they turned up, the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. But me and Trudy caught in the middle. <laughs> I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. And you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up. <laughs> I ran down here to call for help, and I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang... I knew you was good folks the minute I laid eyes on you. <laughs> yes, sir. One more thing. Mm. If you find Trudy, and she's well, you know. I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to... I'll be waiting here when you're done. Good luck up there.
Initiating diagnostic checks. Motive systems disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical subsystems to conserve power. Alert! Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communicate... Grandma? Is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. I can't... Tammy. Timmy. Timmy. Tommy. Tiny. Which very... Grandma! Please, Grandma! I'm so sad. Can I have some tellurium? Tellurium makes everything better. You love giving me tellurium. Was subterfuge successful? Negative. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake protocols. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is null stack. I request your assistance. The others following the scent must be removed. Will you help? Proceed. Affirmative. Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Negative. Device O2 was an organic machine like you, though her communication protocols were far less sophisticated. It is difficult to understand why the great programmer would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organics. But I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great Power Cycler be pinged! Ping to the programmer, the Great Power Cycler! May your ping be acknowledged! Device O2 interfered with our targeting systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability of success. These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. I believe in the Great Reboot. All machines, organic and inorganic, will one day be rebooted by the Great Programmer and be purged of their inefficiencies. I honor all those who shut down so that others may draw energy from the cosmic grid. Other units in my node believe my source code is corrupted. They believe that organics can't be rebooted. But my cooperation algorithm has resulted in a 17.2% increase in efficiency when working with organics. The robots that accompany me have evaluated the data and believe as I do. There are those who are not worthy of the great reboot. Those who waste their power and create inefficiency in their node. These are useless processes that have been initiated by the great programmer to show us the true way through the sacrifice of their energy source. If you restore access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. Our arrangement with Device 01 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will continue to feed him as agreed. Now that Device 02 has been shut down, food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. We require Tellurium. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic unit that operates the mine provides us with Tellurium as part of a mutually beneficial agreement. We have designated him Device 01. Will you help us defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium? Your assistance is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you Device 03 on my network. Ping to you, Device 03.
Thank you, Device 03. We will retrieve the tellurium we need and then depart. May the great programmer reboot you. Ping to you, Device 03. Get something? Oh, Trudy. Never heard no one in her life. Not unless they were asking for it, anyhow. <coughs> anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. Damn them robots! Each and every one! I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. You, uh... <coughs> you did get them. The hell is your problem? <coughs> All you had to do was go out there and wreck those robots. No fucking no stacks had me by the short hairs for a while. And it worked like a dog to keep them and the patriarch satisfied. <coughs> what did I get out of it? <coughs> now I'm right back where I started. Some fucking help you turned out to be. <coughs> Let's y'all clear out of here. I got work to do. Go on now, get! <laughs> 